What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Keats Fantasy Club and Agabus BotCon 2022 exclusive shard or their version of a shattered glass wreck car or they call it splintered reality which I think is kind of funny. Um, so this I actually picked up from BotCon 2023 even though it's a 2022 exclusive and I was happy to be able to pick it up there but for those that weren't able to make it to BotCon 2023, they will be shipping these out if they haven't already uh, very soon. So let's take a look at this guy. I did do an unboxing, um, but I missed some of the things you need to do out of box just to get it set up. So number one, we want to install his saddlebags here. And these are done in nice purple paint with a little bit of silver there. There's a little nubs on the inside of this. You're just going to slide that over here get those onto the nubs and you'll feel it click into place once you get it clicked into place it stays very nicely and of course the other side but I want to show you that I have a little TV in here so it does come with his little TV set that he showed except this time it is blue and same thing this will peg in make sure you get it pegged you'll feel it all right, next we're going to take care of the spikes. So you get two of these red spikes. Again, you, these chunky ions, you can put things wherever you want. I'm more of a tra traditional, so I'm just going to put it right in the knees. And these actually fit quite nicely. Um, some of the versions of Rekgar, at least my version, the spikes and some of the accessories don't fit well. This one seems to fit very well. We can take care of his wheels which are you know very reminiscent and the paint here is a slightly different I will bring in the other original version of Rekar later but you got some nice paint here with the rubber tires and then the red plastic spikes and these arms are actually backwards or at least they appear backwards to me because you don't want to see this part uh, and this yellow piece should be on the outside so we're going to rotate at the elbow or sorry at the bicep and then you'll have that look me personally, I think that looks way better. I don't know if it was mispackaged or just that's how they think it should go, but this looks a lot better. The flame is more uh, bigger and vibrant. I just think it was meant to be this way. So I recommend you rotate these around and rotate the hand back. Then you can take the tire. And again, you can put these anywhere. Um, I'm just doing my preference, but I like to put one in the arm. And then the other one down here on the leg. Like I mentioned, you could do it however you like. More to go. <laughs> so we also have these, which are his little chest guns. They're going to plug into here. Or some people call them lovingly booby guns. But those are just plug in there. Those are actually painted, believe it or not, this, this gray paint. Uh, and you do a little tampo there. Actually, I'll go over all the paint a little bit later. Let's get them set up first. Then we get these shoulder pads. And one of them actually has this little red dot on it. That's how you know which one goes where. But these are really nicely done. Nice purple paint, yellow paint, and then red paint here. These have a little peg. They're going to tab into the side of the shoulder. So get that lined up. And then you can hold the inside of the arm for leverage to get that pushed on like that. I wouldn't push it on all the way because otherwise you limit the articulation. So just put it on until it actually stays. And that's probably good enough. I did leave this QC sticker on. It seems like everybody these days is doing QC stickers, so they really just don't mean anything anymore. All right, and then you can take these spikes, which are actually plug in to the top of the shoulder pads. I think they go this way. Um, in order for them to sit flat, it looks like they just sit to the outside like that. That looks pretty good. Put the other one on as well. All right, and there is Shard completed. And he has all of his parts on there. He looks really good. Lots of nice paint. All the purple you see is paint. This is a, uh, I believe this is, no, this is also painted. You got some yellow paint with a purple 
I'm not sure how they did it. Oh, maybe it's yellow plastic with this purple paint, but either way, it looks really good. Silver paint there. Uh, like I mentioned, these wheels are painted. Yellow here, red there. Silver here, a little tampo. The face is really well done. You got that nice gray with metallic red, and then the rubbery black plastic. Red paint down here, and then a little bit of red here. But the only thing, all the paint is very, very well done. It's executed perfectly. I don't have any, you know, errors or issues. This could have standed another coat, but uh, very small complaint. Overall, the paint looks absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's take a look at the accessories here. So you, like I mentioned, the axles here in the robot mode can be used as parts and you can stick them on with these little pegs. But of course, we should ra we'd rather use them like this. And I'm gonna talk about the steering articulation, but they've definitely improved the hands. Now they don't articulate fully, but they're much less fiddly and they work a lot better. And I just really prefer this. So I'm glad they changed it. It just works better for me all around. But there he is with the ax. You also get this gun done in a gray plastic. I'm trying to tell, is the plastic paint? It looks like it's might be painted. I think this is gray paint. Um, here's the original, so you can see the difference. Like the the original is actually just gray plastic. I don't know, paint looks a little bit nicer. And there you go. Fully armed up. And he's got all of his pieces on. Really looks nice. You also get a bunch of Energon cubes, which I just thought was really cool. They look like this. You get nine of them total, so you get three of these. You can pretend they're either empty or full. I'm going to pretend they're completely full. Then you get... These, which are kind of like stacked and compressed Energon cubes. Again, translucent purple. Those look really good. And then you get partially filled, which, wow. I mean, nine Energon cubes is a lot to include with a figure. It does feel like you're getting a lot here in this package, but there you go. You can use this for display. I'm definitely going to put this on my display because I think it's cool to have a larger size Energon cubes, especially these stacked ones. I just think that's really neat. But there's one other thing which I believe is kind of extras just in case, but if you come in close on the head, we do get this little baggie. And in there you'll see there's like kind of like beads. Hard to show on camera because it's so small, but there's four little beads. They're meant for his beard. So if you want to put more, you lose this one, and you want to have a beard, you can put extras or you can just replace it. Uh, that was thoughtful of them to include that just in case. But you can also use it on the other red car. And speaking of the other red car, there he is next to the original release from KFC. And you can see how much paint is really on this guy. And there's also some improvements. It's kind of funny, but this release is actually better in terms of the quality and the overall paint and the premium finish than the original. Um, and I don't know what it is, what made them, so you can see these fingers, <laughs> they're awful. So glad they, they went with this. Um, but that's just one of the issues on the original release. Um, and the paint itself is well done. You know, it's very premium. So kudos to KFC for not just making a total recolor of this. Here's the back. You can see even, you know, the paint on the gas can just looks better overall. And because it's tradition, there it is next to the Magic Square version of Optimus Prime. So you can see how he scales with MP. Same size, obviously, as the original, but yes, nice big bot, looks good. All right, now let's get this guy transformed into his motorcycle mode. Since this is like the, I don't know, 16th version of the Jugions, and we've seen the transformation so many times, there's no reason to show it here on camera. So I'll get it transformed off camera, and we'll be right back. All right, and there is Shard in his absolutely gorgeous motorcycle mode. All of the paint really comes through here. I love the choice of the translucent purple fairing. The light looks good. You got the purple paint here. The gas can, gas tank looks awesome with that purple flame. It's actually a yellow flame, but it's the purple that's painted. Silver for the gas cap. 
All this purple looks really nice. Nice silver and yellow over here. And then you got the red. This is about the only thing on the entire bike that I think maybe could have took another another coat because you can see the purple shining through. But even then, not too bad. You got the flame here as well. Yeah, I mean, just really, really well done. I really like how this looks. I did install the brake and clutch handles there as well as the rear view mirrors. Those fit nicely. There's some nice detail here on the fairing or like the cockpit. You can see the gauges there. That looks really good. Yeah, just a very impressive looking. It does have some features. You can rotate the wheels here at the top. It doesn't rotate the, the steering wheel, but you can rotate the steering wheel separately if you want to. And that is all the same features, by the way, as before. Um, everything's nice and tight. Everything works. You do have the kickstands there. You can lift those up. It will kind of sit down on the side if you have those down, but everything just works. You can store these shoulder pads if you want. There's a little spot right there. So if you plug this into there and plug this one into here, you have this look. Which I think actually looks cool because he's got the spikes sticking up the back. Get this axe plugged in right here. And you can take the gun. And the gun will also plug in really anywhere. You can plug it anywhere. I, I think it looks best right here on the side. Kind of like as, you know, he's going into attack mode or whatever. So I can plug it in uh, either spot, either side, doesn't matter. But there you go. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to MP10 Optimus Prime. He is meant to be a large bike that the Autobots can actually ride. So I don't mind the scale here. Obviously, it doesn't scale as an actual vehicle. But nice big bike there. I think it looks great. So final recommendations on the Keats Fantasy Club and Agabus exclusive shard. I'm going to have to give this a 5 out of 5. This is a phenomenal figure. And I don't say that lightly. I rarely ever have given a, a KFC or even X Transbots figure a 5 out of 5. Uh, but this takes all the boxes I would expect for an exclusive. So number one, it's got plenty of paint and detail. Uh, more than actually the retail releases. Um, it is a unique mold, so a unique paint. And it's got some unique parts for it. Uh, which makes it kind of special, especially the accessories just kind of add to that. Overall, the quality is really good, which was that was a, kind of a shock to me. Um, this figure has been retooled and remolded, repainted so many times. You'd expect mold de degradation, and I don't see it here. This is very, very good quality. Maybe that's just my copy, but um, I've I've never had a junkie on so far that didn't have problems, right? This one has these, you know, flimsy fingers and the parts where the legs fit together to kind of connect like this. They don't always stay. The feet will flop down. I mean, tons of just different issues. I had one junkie on where the gas tank wouldn't plug into the backpack. Um, so this is a welcome, welcome improvement to the quality. Um, and it's just the look, man. This looks so cool. It's such a cool looking, Ro uh, robot mode and motorcycle mode, so I, you just can't go wrong. It looks good in both. So if you have a shattered glass collection, I think this will fit in nicely there. Or if you just want to do what I'm doing here, which is kind of how it's going to end up in my collection, then it works for that too. So that's it for today. Thanks to Agabus for putting this together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.